Hello everybody, hope you all have another blessed day. Today I'm back with episode 2 of my Banlist discussion videos, where I'm going to be going over some different forbidden and limited cards on Yu-Gi-Oh! Banlist. Now for this episode, I'm going to be talking about all the banned extra deck monsters in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. And to start off, we have Elder Entity Norden. And I would say Elder Entity Norden is going to have to sadly stay banned. Maybe because it'll just become way too generic of not only a level 4 monster to rank up with, but also easy extended for all decks to use and abuse with Instant Fusion. Yes, Instant Fusion is at 1, but just drawing it once and, and summon a Norden mid-game, not only give you two monsters, but be able to say XYC summon into double, into, Uto into Utopia double, into double, and guess what, you got a 10k hit hitter easily and efficiently with Elden and the Norden with most decks. But for that reason, it's going to have to stay banned. Next is Star from Venom, which some people say maybe could come back, but I'm going to say no. Because this is like this other card from last episode, this card also has a way that lets you basically gain the effect of basically any, I think any monster in your graveyard or something like that, or some form or something like that, or you can basically just copy a card's effects. And that just opens up the way previously to have like FTK potentials out there. So for a chance to have FTK and a way to get abused because anything that can copy a card's effects is giving you a chance to use it twice, this cannot be in the game right now. So for that reason, Star Venom is still going to have to stay banned. Now with Thunder Dragon Colossus, this is an interesting one because you would think at first it needs to stay banned. But honestly, Thunder Dragons are doing nothing right now, and they have really, I think, no support coming in the near future. So I think this gives Thunder Dragon a chance to maybe be Tier 2, maybe 1.5. We can maybe give Thunder Dragon back to him at 1. Definitely not too free, because they'll be able to turbo that out with Master World 5 and get a bunch of Thunder Dragons, and that would be way too good. But given that 1, and given us just that 1 Thunder Dragon to go over, I think that would be manageable a lot of today's meta decks, and I don't think that will make it too good of a deck. Maybe 1.5, maybe 2. So Thunder Dragon Colossus can maybe come back at 1, but who knows. Now, if Ancient Fairy Dragon, this card is definitely going to stay banned. It has two way, way too good effects. Now, only can you spell to summon basically any level 4 level monster from your hand once per turn, but it also is a card that lets you search out basically any of your field spells. And in today's meta, field spells are godly. This is like Invoked with Magical Meltdown. That thing is ridiculous and helps you go full combo easy. So, this is the chance this card can just break the game. Shoot, it can even search Mystic Mind. So, a card that can search Mystic Mind and also Special Summon. Sorry, I don't want that card back in the game. And sorry, Ancient Fairy Dragon, even though you're a Sino Dragon, you're not coming back to the game probably anytime soon. Next is Tempest Magician. This card got banned because it has FDK potential, I think, with Pendulum Magicians, a bunch of those spell counters. And just because it's the FTK, I'm going to say this card needs to stay banned. Now, Dang One the First, I'm going to say this card could probably come back to 1, at least for us to test it out. Yes, it can use the kind of effect that it can send with, say, let's see, we're okay, Bixie. Bixie, if it sends to the grave, I'm pretty sure it can, like, maybe turbo it out or something like that. It's supposed to summon it. Maybe something around that. And maybe going to a level 7 6. I don't really know much about the Yang Zine, but honestly, I don't think it will have much effect on today's meta because there are so many OP combo decks out there. I don't think Dang Along will kind of make it any better or worse or anything like that than what's out there already. So honestly, Dang Along could probably come back to one just for us to test it out and see if it breaks anything. Next is Ib, which I'm going to say cannot come back because Needle Fiber is definitely a card. So unless Needle Fiber gets hit, this card's never going to have a chance to see a lot of day because as soon as you get. Ib out, you're easily going to be able to make, get two monsters by searching wards at Legacy Guard Dragon and going to Ib. Not Ib, but Needle Fiber. So Ib is definitely not coming back to the game, and honestly, it just gives you too many pluses, because not only do you get a searcher card, when it's into the grave, you can special summon one from your deck. So, can't come out. Next card, we have Invoker, which I'm going to say right now, it's probably not coming back, because one, you could say it could help support Gokis and Zodiacs by searching out their key cards. Something else it does that probably wouldn't happen, but it could. It can also special summon Amazonus Archer. And this card, it has a chance to cause a FTK problem. So just for that reason, how this card can cause FTK situations, I'm going to say it cannot come back. But if they maybe hit all the Cannon Soldiers cards out there and ban those, Maybe this can come back and give Zodiac and Gokis just that one little chance to get it a better deck. Next is Shockmaster. I can say right now it has to stay banned because this card can basically just shut down a whole opponent's deck automatically if you just call the right card. So anything that's just a one card winning a game, sorry, probably has to go in the near future, and that's why this card is banned. Tomahawk, Tomahawk, it has to stay banned. 
it's a token spammer. Any fan of a token spammer has to go. Now, Zen Mighty, this card used to be part of an FTK with Wind Up Hunter. But now that it's banned, that FTK is gone. But that's only because Zen Mighty was at 3. If we put Zen Mighty at 1, I feel like that the policy of the FTK would probably be near impossible to do and wouldn't be like consistent. And it also would boost Wind Up decks. So I think we can maybe move Wind Up Carrier Zen Mighty back to 1. Love All Chain, I'm going to say this card has to stay banned because 1. It's generic to level 4, so that's really generic for a lot of decks right now. And it has a really broken card, f card effect. Not only can you send one card from your deck to the grave, you can basically stack your deck also. So those are really, really OP effects in today's meta because there's a lot of cards that can prop in the graveyard. And stacking your deck, well, <laughs> yeah, that's just not cool. Next is number 86, which I'm going to say because I'm a Dark Warrior player and I play a lot of Warrior decks. This card's going to definitely have to stay banned. Because you give me a chance to get some of this card with using four monsters, guess what? I just beat you. Because when you get four monsters on the, usually with four monsters, your opponent cannot normal summon or special summon. And if your opponent can't do that, unless they got the spell of trap way to out this card, you just won the game. So this card is just, just a one card win condition, and sorry, it has to go. As a thought, again, I played and used and abused this card because I played Dark Warriors, and I'll tell you from experience, this card is broken. Basically, when I summon this card using the whole Time Thief combo, my opponent couldn't play Yuger after that. So, for that reason, this card stayed bank again. It's a one card win condition. Okay, Dark Mana Dragon. Another card that needs to stay banned because this card has way too many OTK potentials. Basically, it gets to attack twice, if I'm not mistaken. It also makes your current send cards or banish cards from a deck or graveyard. Some of those kind of effects, but that's not the big one. The big one is that it can attack for OTK twice because it has 4K attack. Next is. Mars, come back. Mars Stalio, which is, again, I'm going to say it needs to stay banned. Honestly, this is mainly because I don't think Salmon Great is that bad of a deck right now. It's still a really good deck, and it can still compete in today's meta. Yeah, it's probably not the main best deck, but it's still probably about tier 1.5 and 1. And decks are around that level right now. They don't need more support to push them towards the top tier 1 list, okay? So, unless Salmon Great just drops off the face of the earth completely, I don't think they need Mirage Stalio back. Next is this Telonite here, and this card's definitely got to stay banned. Because you detach 7 materials from this card, you just get to skip your opponent's turn. Yeah. Yeah, just completely skip it. Not the draw phase, not the main phase, just everything. It just goes right back to you. So for the potential, it basically just skip your whole opponent's turn and just play your opponent can play Yu Gi Oh! This card needs to stay banned. Next is Broad Bull. And this is an interesting one, because Zodiac's kind of got Dryden back, so it's still trying to get up there. But. I don't believe what the online stuff is really saying. I like to see how Zodiacs can perform after quarantine. So if after quarantine and Zodiacs aren't really doing anything or top of anything or even getting like top 32s or anything like that, and they're still way, way down there and like Rogue, I say maybe we can give them Bravo back to one and just to see if we can boost the decks. But is Zodiacs doing really good in today's meta once quarantine's out and all kind of stuff? Sorry, Bravo has to stay away. But instead of an option Bravo, again, I talked about we could have an Invoker if. Zodiacs aren't doing the best, but again, that just depends how Zodiac performs in the next coming weeks and months. Next, we have the meme legend Firewall Dragon, and I'm just going to say no. There's way too many OTK, FTKs, say your opponent can't play, make so many more memes. Sorry, Firewall is never coming off. This thing is probably one of the best cards on the ban list that needs to stay away from the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! forever. So, Firewall Dragon, please, please, please never come off the ban list. Now, Aggro Pain, I want to talk a little bit interest about this card, because I like to play Aggro Pain when I used to play Dragon Lynx. Now, if Aggro Pain just lets you basically special summon a Dragon Extra Deck monster from your Extra Deck to a Zone of Fame Point or something like that. But honestly, this card could maybe come back to 1, but I'm not going to say it right now, because right now, all reason I can see this card come back to 1, if maybe LP and Pisty, well, maybe this LP get banned. Okay? Because right now, I think LP is the big combo starting card for a lot of Dragon Link decks. Sure, Pissy's good, but everyone says LP's the best. So if LP gets hit, maybe give him aggro pain. But honestly, I still think it'll be a little too OP. So maybe LP and Pissy get banned. Then maybe you may see aggro pain come back, but I doubt that's going to happen. And I'll probably aggro pain going to stay banned. Heavy Metal's Electromite is basically this way too generic car, I think, for Pendulums. If you are a Pendulum deck when Electromite is in the game, you was playing it. Okay? 
And this basically lets you get into any of your combo pieces. When it's Link Summon, you can add a one pendulum launch from your deck to extra deck face up. Once a turn, you can toggle away all face up cards you control, destroy it, then add one face up monster from your extra deck to, I think, your pendulum zone. And then draw a card. Okay, so yeah, so this basically can help you get any of your scales you was missing in the game if you was a pendulum player. And honestly, again, I can't say I need one Electromite come back to one because I just don't know how all uh, pendulums will be performed in today's meta. Yes, you can look online and see how they perform, but again, I like to base all my ideas off of how they're doing at local events or at YCSs. So until we have those back and we get to see if pendulums can still play top 1.52 in today's meta, I'm not going to say Electric Mike can come back at all. Goblin. Goblin's going to need to stay banned because any card that lets you get two normal summons in one turn, sorry, it has to go. Nightmare Mermaid. Yeah, this card's never coming back because Orcus Nightmare is a card. But if Orcus Nightmare maybe gets hit in the future, I have no reason why Nightmare Mermaid cannot come back. Because yes, you know, I think Nightmare Ibley or something like that, but that's way not as bad as Orcus Nightmare. So if Orcus Nightmare gets banned, Nightmare Mermaid is probably off the ban list very quickly. Summon Sorceress is a card that's never going to get banned. Because if you're a combo deck with any kind of link plays and something like that, and you had Summon Sorceress, you was able to go way, way more off your combo than ever before. So just for the potential that a lot of combo decks will probably easily abuse this card, like how I, I would definitely abuse this card if it was off the ban list, I just can't see this coming off. It just opens way too many combo variations in decks, and it's way too easy to extend with. Same as Nightmares, well not Nightmares, but Phantom Knight's Rusty Bardiche. Another card I have a lot of experience with, and I can't say it can definitely not come off the list, because if this card's coming off the list, you're going to see the whole combo back with about three interruptions, with having two Fog Blades, and then you have the revival of Time Fee Free Doer with the one pot from him. So this is basically just easy one card free interruption when it gets to the board. And any card that can give you this free interruptions by itself, I think had to go. And that's definitely why Rusty Bardiche got banned. And why it's definitely not going to come off the ban list. And the last card, Gumball Dragon. This skin is no card that's definitely not going to come off the ban list, hopefully. Because this is a card that has way too many FDK potentials. Because you can just loop your opponent's whole hand using this one card. And again, as I say, if a lot of these cards on here, anything that lets you basically just loop your opponent for game, what's so this, 8,000 damage, will take all the cards away consistently, can't be in a game of Yu-Gi-Oh. So right now, Gunblar is definitely going to need to stay banned. So that's the vid. If you have your own thoughts on some of these cards from the extra deck and you think they can maybe be banned, or some cards I say can be unbanned, should stay banned, leave me as a comment down below and I'd love to see and hear your own thoughts. That's the video again, as I said. So if you liked the video, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're not, so I can make more content for you, such as the video you saw today. And like always, I hope the rest of your week is blessed, and I hope I see you all in the next video. See ya.